NCAA softball tournament in Texas. Win or go home for Jim Bagley and company. Griffins taking on the host school West Texas A&M on their home turf in hostile territory. Pitcher Jackie Bishop getting the start for the second straight day. Second inning, the Buffs' Megan Brown takes her out. Way gone, a solo shot. The partial home crowd loves it. It's 1-0. Skip to the six. Griffs down 3-1 now, but not anymore. Brittany Douglas does what she does best. Crushes the ball. That hasn't landed yet. Seriously. Her second homer in two days. Her 15th of the year. Griffs within one. Bottom six. Things get crazy. John L. Belger in relief and a two-out jam. Buffs have runners on second and third. This ball looks like trouble, but Douglas makes the spectacular diving catch to end the inning. But hold on just a minute. An illegal pitch is called on Belger. The out is voided, and the runner on third automatically scores. Coach Bagley is fired up. West Texas up 5-2 to two after 6. Seventh inning, last chance for the Griffs. They've had so much late inning magic this year. Is there any more left? Well, Taylor Anding draws a leadoff walk. Two batters later, Ashley Hudson. The ground ball to short. She's too fast. Infield hit. Still later. Two outs now. Megan Rimmick ground ball to the third base side. It's trouble. She's safe. Griffins have the bases loaded for who else? The senior, Douglas. West Texas wants no part of her. They walk her on four straight pitches and walk in a run. Western down two. Tying run on second for the cleanup hitter. Tony Dance, but she can't pull the trigger. Dance gets punched out to end the game. The would-be magic snuffed out. Western falls 5-3 to three the final. They finish the season with a 40 and 15 record, and a great run comes to an end. It was it was a great game. Um, we we were just the team that came up short, and um, you know the banter back and forth, and and you always know. Um, you're going to have that kind of game, you know, with uh, with one of Kevin Blaskowski's teams. You know, you're going to have one of those with one of those games, and we've done it before. Um, we just were the team that ended up short. It was a crappy way to go out, but we fought a lot of games, you know. And I thought we we're going to do it today, but didn't end up working. I can't talk good enough about this team. Um, I'm lucky. I feel like this is. I don't know. It was like. This is what I play for. Like these girls and this team is exactly why I play and why I loved it. We had the best group of freshmen I think I've ever played with and I had the best um, counterpart with Jackie and um, I can honestly say that I left here with no regrets and I couldn't thank this team enough for letting me go out the way I did. Yeah, next year, I mean, we got a lot of people coming back, and we're going to come back strong and build upon this year and hopefully go further next year. 